Afonso IV of Portugal, Afonso IV, 8th of February 129,128 May 1357, called the Brave, was King of Portugal and the Algarves from 1325 until his death. He was the only legitimate son of King Denis of Portugal by his wife Elizabeth of Aragon. Afonso, born in Lisbon, was the rightful heir to the Portuguese throne. However, he was not Denis' favorite son, the old king preferring his illegitimate son, Afonso Sanchez. The notorious rivalry between the half-brothers led to civil war several times. On January 7, 1325, Afonso's father died and he, Afonso IV, became king, whereupon he exiled his rival, Afonso Sanchez, to Castile, and stripped him of all the lands and fiefdom given by their father, Denis. From Castile, Afonso Sanchez orchestrated a series of attempts to usurp the crown. After a few failed attempts at invasion, the brothers signed a peace treaty, arranged by Afonso's mother Queen Elizabeth. In 1309, Afonso IV married Infanta Beatrice of Castile, daughter of King Sancho IV of Castile by his wife Maria de Molina. The firstborn of this union was Infanta Maria of Portugal. In 1325 Alfonso XI of Castile entered a child marriage with Constanza Manuel of Castile, the daughter of one of his regents. Two years later, he had the marriage annulled so he could marry Afonso's daughter, Maria of Portugal. Maria became Queen of Castile in 1328 upon her marriage to Alfonso XI, who soon became involved publicly with a mistress. Constanza was imprisoned in a castle in Toro while her father, Juan Manuel, Prince of Viena, waged war against Alfonso XI until 1329. Eventually, the two reached a peaceful accord after mediation by Juan del Campo, Bishop of Oviedo, this secured Constance's release from prison. The public humiliation of his daughter led Afonso IV to have his son and heir, Peter, marry the no less aggrieved Castilian Infanta, Constanza. Afonso subsequently started a war against Castile, peace arriving four years later through the intervention of the Infanta Maria herself. A year after the peace treaty was signed in Seville, Portuguese troops played an important role in defeating the Moors at the Battle of Rio Salado in October 1340. Political intrigue marked the last part of Afonso IV's reign, although Castile was torn by civil war after Alfonso XI died. Henry of Trastamara challenged the new King Pedro of Castile, who sent many Castilian nobles into exile in Portugal. Afonso's heir, Pedro, fell in love with his new wife's lady-in-waiting, Inés de Castro. Inés was the daughter of an important noble family from Galicia, with links, albeit illegitimate, to both the royal houses of Castile and Portugal. Her brothers were aligned with the Trastamara faction, and became favorite soft crown Prince Pedro, much to the dismay of others at the Portuguese court, who considered them Castilian upstarts. When Constance of Penafiel died weeks after giving birth to their third child, Pedro began living openly with Inez, recognized all her children as his and repudiated the idea of marrying anyone other than Inez herself. His father refused to go to war again against Castile, hoping his heir's infatuation would end, and tried to arrange another dynastic marriage for Pedro. The situation became worse as the years passed and the aging Afonso lost control over his court. His grandson and Pedro's only legitimate son, future King Fernando of Portugal, was a sickly child while Inés' illegitimate children thrived. Worried about his legitimate grandson's life, and the growing power of Castile within Portugal's borders, Afonso ordered Inés de Castro first imprisoned in his mother's old convent in Coimbra, and then murdered in 1355. He expected his son to give in and marry a princess, but the heir became enraged upon learning of his lover's decapitation in front of their young child. Pedro put himself at the head of an army and devastated the country between the Douro and the Minho rivers before he was reconciled to his father in early 1357. Afonso died almost immediately after, in Lisbon in May. Afonso IV's nickname the Brave alludes to his martial exploits. However, his most important accomplishments were the relative peace enjoyed by the country during his long reign and the support he gave to the Portuguese navy. Afonso granted public funding to raise a proper commercial fleet and ordered the first Portuguese maritime explorations. The conflict with Pedro, and the explorations he initiated, eventually became the foundation of the Portuguese national epic, As Lusitas by Luís de Camões. The dramatic circumstances of the relationship between father and son and Inés de Castro was used as the basis for the plot of more than 20 operas and ballets, as well as the Nisa Lastimosa and Nisa Laureata, 1577, by Jerónimo Bermúdez, Reinar Despues de Morir by Luis Velas de Guevara, 
Inez de Castro by Mary Russell Mitford, and Lorraine Mort, The Dead Queen, by Henry de Montalon. The story with its tragic denouement is immortalized in several plays and poems in Portuguese, such as The Lugidas by Luís de Camões, Canto 3, stanzas 118 to 135, and in Spanish, including Nisa Lastimosa and Nisa Loriada, 1577, by Jerónimo Bermúdez, Reinar Despues de Morir by Luís Vélez de Guevara, as well as a play by French playwright Henry de Munterland called Lorraine Mort, The Dead Queen. Mary Russell Mitford also wrote a drama based on the story entitled Inés de Castro. Inés de Castro is a novel by Maria Pilar Guerrero del Hierro in Spanish and Portuguese. On September 12, 1309, Afonso married Beatriz of Castile, daughter of Sancho IV of Castile, and Maria de Molina and had four sons and three daughters. Afonso broke the tradition of previous kings and did not have any children out of wedlock. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.